Bro, freaking two weeks ago. I, I mean, I beat, I beat their baby mamas up. I love to do that. What's up, y'all? It's Tuki with a good coochie. Let's talk some trash. How many fights have you been in? I ain't gonna lie, I've been in a lot of fights. I think everybody fight. And it was a point in time in my life where we went to the club to fight. We, we, we drink and get our fight on. It's really the Hennessy, cause just getting mad. Is that, why that bitch looking at me like that? I don't know, girl, you want me to go ask her why? Bitch, what's up? Yup, yeah, I'm fucking your nigga, what you want to do? But that's when I was broke. Now I'm not like that no more, though. I still get in that paint. When was the last time you got into a fight? Bro, freaking two weeks ago. If you know me for real, you know I be outside. Like, I, I do my famous shit, but I still like to be in the hood and around my bitches and around some hood shit, cause that keep me grounded. So I be outside, I be in the club, I be in the streets. My friend called me, got an issue with her baby daddy or, or, or a bitch, we fighting. That's what we do. Like, I don't think that's ever gonna change about me. I grew up in martial arts though. My grandmama sensei, auntie sensei, all of them black belts. That's what, that's what I grew up in. I don't know about that no more. I'ma just I'm peace up with a bitch. But what I will tell you is, um, I'm on a fighting show. That's a fighting show. We fight all the time. Now they'll fight each other and then drink and go out and have some fun. It, it's a vibe, but I be like, yeah, y'all bitches could never come to where I'm at. Out here, bitch, all that little TV shit, bitch, you would get knocked the fuck out, slapped with a pistol, and ran up out this motherfucker, for real. I just be getting my coin, you know, I don't be, I don't know what the fuck they got going on, bitch. What these people like to do is they really like to get in your area so they can see if you something to play with. Yeah, I don't kiki with bitches. I'm gonna show you respect, give it back. If not, we, we could do whatever. I don't know you for real, so we are not even doing all that. I'm a big fish, so people would like to get in my area and see if they can play with me and come up off of me. And that's not how it's gonna go. Cause I fuck with niggas that like to wham shit for real. What's the craziest thing you done because of an ex? I mean, I beat, I beat their baby mamas up. I love to do that. But other than that, I ain't, I don't really do too much crazy. I just move on to the next one. Because what I look like fighting about a nigga, I look like me. I like to fight by niggas. If I love you, yeah. For me to fight a baby mama, it don't take too much. It's just like, me personally, I, I put respect on my name. I'm, I, I, like, I don't cause no trouble, you feel me? What you and your baby daddy got going on ain't got nothing to do with me, I'm a real player. So what they like to do is they like to reach out to let themselves be known. I don't wanna know you, sis. You ain't gotta make yourself be known. I mean, I'm a baby mama. Everybody a baby mom, but it's two different types. It's the kind that's bitter and it's the kind like me that's chill as fuck and don't really give a fuck. I have beat a few baby mamas up and it was because people don't know their place. When you start trying to contact me, to make me relay messages to your baby daddy, or you want me to know why you don't like your baby daddy? You feel me, that ain't got nothing to do with me. My relationship with him is what, you feel me, what it is. What you got going on is what you got going on. They problem be is they feel like why they can't get treated the same, bitch, cause we don't got the same pussy. I don't fight over niggas like that. But if you disrespect me, I'ma have to, you feel me, I feel like I can't let no hoe slide. If I let you slide, then everybody else gonna think they can slide, so I beat bitches up. It's okay to move on. You get a nigga, he get a bitch. What the fuck? Y'all be so mad. I think they be hating on their baby dad. They can't stand when a nigga get some good ass cat. They be like, oh, that's my sloppy seconds. Sure do and love him so much. I'm gonna cook for him every day. Yep, I'm gonna suck his dick, lick his balls, and lick his feet. Mm hmm And I'm gonna do your daughter hair. I'm gonna take your kids to school. That's the type of love I got. It's not my fault that they don't know how to love. I'm a lover. So I come with all types of motherfucking tricks and treats. The problem is these bitches don't know how to fry no chicken. Okay, next one. What's one thing you never told your ex? <laughs> I don't, I never cheated before. I'm not a cheater. That's not my type of sport. But what I did do is when I, he broke up with me, we were done. And um, I end up getting a, a, new, a new friend. Why the fuck did you break in my house and eat my pussy in my sleep, sir? Why would you do that and I got a new man? He just nutted in me. Dick just came out my pussy. Like, we're not together. Why are you breaking in my house? It's giving harassment. Now you got... <laughs> I'm just gonna be quiet. That was nasty of you. I'm the innocent one. Yeah, this my pussy. Mm-hmm, that what you did. Mm, sucked the right out of it, didn't you? How you didn't smell that? It has a smell. You know those chestnut. I didn't even get to wash my ears. Who is your favorite social media comedian? I like um, Jess Hilarious. Charleston White is too. I met him in person. I know a ladies man when I see one. He got all the hoes. He's a very smooth talking, respectful guy when he wants to be. I see him sometimes he do disrespect bitches. But did you see he had an interview what about, about me? Well, he didn't get to meet me before, so he thought I was a, a real live like slut. But then he met me 
And then I seen, after he met me, I seen him do an interview. He was like, I met Sukihana, and I ain't gonna lie, but that she ain't got that whole spirit in her. And he said he just loved me. Like, he, he got a lot of respect for me. He couldn't handle this pussy, for real. I feel like he'll fall in love with me. I put this pussy on and make them cock eyes go straight. But that's if I was an older woman. Yeah, I'm too young for him. I need a young thug right now. And my favorite comedian is Dave Chappelle and Kat. Yeah, I seen it. I think he was marvelous. I love that he had that much courage. If he ever has a show in Miami or wherever, I will pay any amount to see him because I like him for who he is. He got my support. Shit, I'll fuck him too. He fucking him. What's the most unattractive item someone could wear? I don't really like when guys wear the, the lighter attached to their pants. I'm not judging. But what I will say is that it just makes me think that um, you just got your shit together. Why is they doing that? I don't know, just tell me you got baby mama issues, maybe. Yeah, you don't take, so, something. something's not right. I just don't like it. How long does it take you to fall in love? I mean, I believe in love at first sight. I fall in love as soon as I meet somebody. I just know right away if I love you. Cause I, I just something about you. Like that's just how I am. I'm a lover. I know right away if I'm a fucking nigga. Like I just know. Maybe I'm psychic. It's just some niggas got it, some niggas don't. I know who can fuck me and I know who can't. Cause I'm just, I'm a vibe. Like I'm a real vibe. And I don't like to toot my own horn, but what I do is I treat people with respect. A lot of women feel entitled to everything. But I just, I'm just a lover and I'm a giver and I'm generous and I just love people for real. Like what? Like imagine getting your heart broken a million times and still being able to love people. That's my biggest flex, even though sometimes it hurts me, but. Shit. I'm not that type of person that live, like dwell on the past and dwell on things that hurt me. Yeah, my grandmom's a lover. My grandmom helped raise me and she's a forgiving, she was very forgiving. My grandmom got married in, in prison. I was there, so she, her nigga was locked up. So like I grew up in shit like that. So that's why I love people like how I love people. You feel me? So yeah, I, I love to forgive people, but do I forget? No. And do I stick around? No. Can you make it to that next chapter? Maybe. But I do believe in having grace with people. Because there was a time where people have crossed me. I'm like, I don't fuck with you no more. You can't come around me ever again. And somebody put me in the side and said, Suki, have grace. Don't you pray when you get maybe pulled over by the cops and you like, dang, I hope this cracker don't take me to jail. Or I hope that, you feel me, he, he got, you know, Take it easy on me, that's grace. So I like to take it easy on people. So I fall in love, I love people, I treat people with respect, and sometimes I feel like if you want a friend, you gotta be a friend. Some of these people ain't never had no real friends. What's one thing your ex gave you that you still have? I done got a lot of stuff, and I wish that I still had the watches. I so won to bail my nigga out of jail. Shit, I'm not about to let my nigga see it. Imagine me going out with my man, right? And I got a Dolce & Gabbana dress on that another guy bought me and a Rolex that another guy bought me. It probably make him feel some type of way. Take that nigga shit off, bitch. How safe of a driver are you? I'm really a safe driver because they say I drive like a grandma. I'm short as shit. I gotta put my seat all the way up and I be like this. I'm not gonna lie, I be doing messy shit. Like if me and a guy that I'm dating go through it, like we having little issues, he being messy, I'll leave and I'll, and I'll come back, right? And I'll be driving real fast. Like this ain't, and it be like, what nigga you had that made, that taught you how to drive fast like that? Oh, so why the seat lean back like that? I don't know, shit. Maybe it was you, but that mean you had a nigga in your car. If your seat back on, on the passenger side, girl, you about to get in trouble. I always go through niggas' cars. I go through their glove compartment. I go through their medicine cabinets. I go through their phones. It's just, that's just something I like to do. When I go into the glove compartment, I see, uh, like the car thing that said another girl's name. So I knew, oh yeah, this is not your car, this is your people's car. I like to go through stuff. It's not really to invade people's privacy, but it's really to protect me. So if I go through your things, I won't even say nothing to you. I just really need to know who you are. Shit, if you don't like it, leave, nigga. Go get that average pussy that your baby mama got. Let me tell you, I'm a Scorpio, so this is what I say. I'm not gonna stop you from going through my phone. If you want that trust with me, we can have that trust, you go through my phone. I want you to, so you can know who I am. Find out what type of girl you got, so you know how to treat me. Go through my phone so you can see what type of niggas I'm fucking with because these niggas be thinking that they the, they the top dog, like, bitch. And niggas be so mad talking about, oh, well, at least when I cheat on you, I do it with a bitch that I don't give a fuck about. When y'all bitches cheat, y'all cheating on private jets. Okay, what you thought? 
you cheat on me and I go cheat on or with, with a motherfucking nigga that's standing at the gas station. Uh-uh. Let one of these, let one of these rich ass balling niggas that's gonna pay all my bills try this cat out, nigga. They think they can do them and then control what we do. Uh-uh, baby. I'm cheating on a private jet. I'm getting fucked on a private jet, nigga. Ass getting slurped on. And I'm gonna tell him I love him. If I'm fucking somebody, I already love you. I'm gonna tell you I love you. I do. If I'm fucking you, you in this pussy, I love you, nigga. I'm gonna say, mm, I love you. Mm, I love you so much. What you wanna eat? You want some food? I'm gonna make you something to eat after this. That's exactly, men can't take what we can take. Y'all get hurt one time, and y'all can't take it no more. But y'all want y'all girl to forgive y'all multiple times. Oh, I forgave a guy, and he he, he turned on me. They say if you, if you cheat on your girl and she stay, Mm -hmm. The biggest lie an adult told you as a kid. Oh, it's so many. Oh yeah, this is a lie. I wasn't a kid at this time, but the biggest lie is y'all sitting there saying, um, getting fucked make your ass bigger. I got fucked from the back a lot of times and it never made my ass big. The thing is you're getting big because you're in a relationship and it's, you're getting comfy and you're getting comfortable and the nigga's feeding you. It has nothing to do with dick. Got you looking in the mirror like, oh, it is getting fat. No, bitch, you eating. You getting dick and you in love, girl. You gaining that love weight. What? That's not, it doesn't happen. You gonna beat her walls up. She just gonna have a wide pussy if you keep playing. Oh my gosh. What's the biggest misconception about your zodiac sign? So I'm with Scorpio. Everybody has a lot to say about us. Everybody thinks like we human and we're not, we're actually the, the best that ever touched the world. Like, are you crazy? Like I could be like fully clothed, but still very sensual and still know how to turn a nigga on. People like to say, oh, we sneaky. We're not sneaky, okay? We just like to listen. I want you to tell me a lot about yourself. I wanna know who I'm dealing with. I'm so cool and I make you so comfortable that you wanna talk about yourself. Talk about yourself. I'm not here to talk about me. If you wanna ask questions, ask them. What the fuck? Is I supposed to just tell you everything? Ask me and I will tell you. What I will say is people think we seek revenge out on them and what, what it is is that the universe is doing that to you. It's not us. If you cross me and I fall back, and I just never speak to you again and I move on and I fall in love. That doesn't mean I'm an evil bitch. You hurt me, it's time to stop. I wish you the best, I have to go over here. Well, how does that make me an evil bitch? I ain't gonna lie, I feel like a lot of Scorpios are narcissists. And I feel like the sex is so good with us that it's a natural control. It's not my fault that you wanna be submissive and listen to me. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you, treat me how you wanna be treated. Hey, it's Sukihana and we're wrapping it up with Trash Mags.